Hi, I'm Tom. I live on the web at tdjacobs.com and also healingsuicide.com. One of the main things that I do is evolutionary astrology, and I do teach evolutionary astrology. And this video is going to be to kind of explain some things and clear up some potential misconceptions. I get questions quite often, do you teach, do you tutor, and, and what's this course of study that you're developing? So I want to explain that here for you. So um, I do evolutionary astrology, of course, and um, the way I do it is kind of a third stream. So we have two uh, prevalent or kind of dominant ways of looking at evolutionary astrology. Um, and um, I've taken what I learned from, from mostly one of those perspectives and then add peppering in with the, the other one. Um, and I've taken it to an Ascended Master when I was getting tutoring from this Ascended Master named Hermes, also known as Jehudi. Thoth, St. Germain Merlin, just to, just to get a better definition of soul than I was getting from human teachings as well as religi religious traditions, soul reincarnation and karma. So I've kind of added through channeling a lot of information that makes what I'm doing unique, built on EA stuff, but a bit unique. Um, so yes, I do tutoring and I tailor that to what you want to accomplish, though admittedly, um, Mostly what I teach is the four-step method of chart analysis. Uh, and so I call it the karmic story. And you can check out the karmic story pages at tdjacobs.com to get a sense of this and even get your own four-step reading, whether live or pre-recorded Soul's Journey Multi-Life Overview MP3 through tdjacobs.com. I'll link in the, in the uh, description of the video. I'll put links um, so you can find out kind of how I do this uniquely and find out what your own soul's journey is about. So I do tutoring, but I've also developed a path of study towards certification. Now, all of that is not lined up right now as of March of 2021, but it's in process. But here's where to begin if you want to work with me outside of tutoring, which of course is a one-on-one -on -one thing. Um, I have two home study courses, formerly called EA Basics 1 and 2, but now I've just changed the name to EA Fundamentals 1, EA Fundamentals 2. Now, the reason I, I've done that is because when people see the word basics, they assume it's astrology basics, but it's not. Basically, once you have uh, an understanding of houses and signs, aspects, angles, uh, once you have that, the, those basic ideas, I might have left something out. Houses, uh, planets, <laughs> I always leave that one out. So um, when you have the, uh, the basics of astrology down and you feel like you can understand how to delineate, oh, Saturn in the sixth house is kind of about this, Saturn in Taurus is about this, you know, once you kind of have that down and Saturn in square Mars mean, you know, can mean this energy, then if you want to get into the, the evolutionary astrology perspective, I offer these two fundamentals, home study courses to begin with. Uh, Fundamentals 1 is uh, mostly a video course where I've recorded videos of these presentations to teach you my unique take on soul, karma, reincarnation first. And it's a model of soul <clears throat> that is unique. Nobody else is teaching about soul the way I'm teaching about soul. Um, and that's the channeled vision of what soul is about. And that informs everything that I do. So how to change karma? Yes, karma can be changed if you look at it in an empowering way. Um, you know, how to understand how other lives affect this life. How to understand that you are conscious, a human is consciousness that exists across time. How does that fit with, how do past lives fit in with our present life? What does it all mean? How does soul see these things? So that bit about reincarnation and karma and how to change it and this model of soul is presented in the first part of EA Fundamentals 1. And then the following weeks, there's six modules or following modules. Um, I used to teach it as a live class, so I have that, you know, weeks in my head. The following modules introduce Pluto as the empowerment journey that your soul sets out for you as a human in many lives. So understanding empowerment, disempowerment, strength, confidence, the lack of them, the loss of them through different houses and signs and whatever, like going through, you know, that whole Pluto story and then the south node of the moon, which is step two in my process of, and that represents the um, conditioning environments 
that your soul chooses for you to be born to and or raised by in every life, including this one. So family level soul contracts can be discerned by understanding the south node of the moon in someone's chart, but also their predisposition to assume what the world is like because of conditioned, a conditioned worldview. So kind of like the karmic garbage the person carries that overlaps with the karmic garbage other members of the family carry in varying degrees. And then they, they, the souls make agreements to play out certain themes together and in front of each other and off of each other and offer different models of how to live these themes. Then step number three is a South Node ruler by sign, which is a deep layer of multi-life identity, deeper than sun, moon, rising. And some people, sun or moon is a south node ruler. When I say south node ruler by sign, what is the sign of the south node? Is it Taurus? We look for the Venus configuration. Uh, is Venus's placement, how sign aspects if it's retrograde. Uh, if it's Aries, we look for Mars. If it's Capricorn, we look for Saturn and, and et cetera. And I use traditional rulers for this. So if it's Aquarius, we look for Saturn. If it's Scorpio, we look for Mars. If it's Pisces, we look for Jupiter. So how does this step three, the South Node ruler by sign, how does this person expect to be treated? What special skills and talents does he or she bring and what roles will she or he assume or be nudged into because people see potential and promise? Step number four is the North Node of the Moon, which is what we haven't learned or had healthy models of in many lifetimes. The North Node is always opposite the South Node which represents these uh, karmic contracts. So the North Node is what we haven't learned and need to learn to integrate, to be balanced and healthy. And with the North Node, we always have prejudices. I would never wanna be like that kind of person because it's literally the opposite of what we're comfortable doing. So that's the four step story in a nutshell. So EA, base, EA Fundamentals One lays that out and how to understand each of these steps of the story. And then the last two modules of EA Fundamentals 1 are the rudiments of practice. Pluto's in Libra in the 12th. This empowerment journey is about, you know, you know, about the 12th house done in a Libra way, but you put in keywords. I'm just blanking right now. Or I don't want to get too locked up at any particular examples. Um, so you get used to doing basic sentences for Pluto house and sign, south node house and sign. South node ruler by sign, house and sign, north node house and sign. And you get comfortable doing that. And it's kind of a computer memorization process where you plug in your keywords, but in a certain syntax, in a certain order to set up a scaffolding. EA Fundamentals 2, a separate uh, home study course, it's a text-based course, so it's not videos. It's practice. And you start adding aspects. First you add Pluto aspects and then, so anyway, it leads you through creating this structure, the scaffolding. And when you understand that scaffolding and you have that laid out, basically an outline of the person's multi-life journey, you understand the person's life. And you're taught, and it's the, you know, I treat charts as maps of themes, like where Saturn's prominent, let's say Saturn um, is conjunct with someone's south node of the moon natally, then I treat that as this energy Saturn saturates the multi-life journey and the conditioning environments, including family, including their worldview. So when you understand what Saturn is, again, do your basics work before you come to my EA fundamentals courses. But when you understand all you know about Saturn, think, oh, this person knows all the best and worst of Saturn. Oh, this person saturated with Saturn in many lifetimes. Then no matter what that person says about an overdoing or underdoing or an unhealthy relationship with Saturn, you're like, oh yes, I understand because Saturn saturates your, you know, you're trying to find the right way to live with Saturn energy and you might overdo it at times. So anyway, when you understand this four-step scaffolding or four-step story, the karmic story, no matter what a person says to you about their problem, this is why I'm having a reading right now. This is what I would like help with. You already saw it coming. So for that reason, these courses can help you clean, if you're interested in evolutionary astrology, can help you clean up your chart prep process amazingly, incredibly. Um, when I started tutoring years ago, 
and I was doing this work, but I hadn't codified it in a certain way. I would attract people who would spend hours doing charts and they were like, this is not efficient. I couldn't make a living if I kept doing it. You know, if it took me four or more hours to do a chart, I actually had someone the other day say it takes me four hours to prep a chart and that's too long. And I was like, yes, it's always been too long. But anyway, when you know what you're looking for, if you have a sense of, you know, some structure to open up the story in a chart and to open up the emotional message that a chart has about the person, you can help that person upgrade her beliefs, change karma, deal with her emotions, deal with quandaries and dilemmas, deal with self-judgment, because you understand from a bird's eye view what that soul intends. Again, one of the ways that my fundamentals courses are different than other any other EA stuff you're going to encounter is because I have a model of soul that isn't taken from religion or philosophy. It's taken from the channeling of an ascended master who says, this is the birds, this is what's happening. This is the bird's eye view on what soul is and why it has human lives in the first place and what the story is. So later in the process, e EA intermediate one and two, intermediate one is the first live course in the cycle. Currently as of March, 2021, I don't have anything scheduled yet but it will it will be happening as my progressed sun inches up to my uh, natal jupiter and capricorn of the third house within the next couple of years um but you would have to spend time working through at your own pace ea fundamentals one and two to be eligible to take intermediate one now you might be a practicing astrologer uh you might be interested in ea you might have explored uh different programs from other ea teachers but this program is unique because it starts with a model of soul that is unique. So uh, sometimes I get questions, can I jump into intermediate one because I've taken so-and-so's course? And I say no, because they haven't, they don't know the basis for everything that I do, the logic of my system. So so if you're interested in that and you know, take uh, get EA Fundamentals one, and then if you like that, get Fundamentals two. Um, those are home study courses again, and the live courses start with intermediate one. Stay tuned for dates on that. So like right now, I'm getting email questions. When are you going to start that? When are you going to do that? And just uh, things in my world have been um, just a little, you know, things have been shifting a little bit. And uh, as someone pointed out to me uh, yesterday, transiting Neptune is square my Saturn. Neptune and Pisces in the sixth, in my sixth house square my Saturn and Gemini in the ninth house. So things are kind of evolving outside my conscious intention. Um, and just as one example, I'm teaching two groups coming up, two small groups, how to work with their spirit guides, which is a completely non-astrology kind of thing. And so that's popped up as really important. So I'm, I'm pursuing that in the true Neptunian being guided fashion. So anyway, stay tuned uh, at tdjacobs.com, also my blog and, um, uh, evolutionary astrology and channeling with tom jacobs on facebook and also on youtube i'll be announcing stuff as we go but if you're interested in studying with me if you're interested in in um, learning this model of soul that's unique that's quite empowering it's a totally empowering because uh, then then you know get the fundamentals courses um it's empowering because it doesn't type or put you in a box uh, that's one of the big draws of evolutionary astrology in general. Like people are flocking to EA as one of the you know uh, short list of, of approaches that have really exploded an in interest over the last several years. Um, that's why I got into evolutionary astrology. I was reading a bunch of stuff from different styles and traditions and authors when I started this uh, years ago, and um, EA really appealed to me. So I was like, yeah, I want, I want space and room to grow and i want you know and then even this approach within this ea niche approach is unique and uh i would argue even more empowering because let's say through routes of ea you've explored before you know some of them might take you into the emotional content or get open up the door where deep issues reside and you're like oh my god there's a powerful approach to take me in there they may not help you process through it or change your karma, change your beliefs. And that's one of the other things I define a, a karma as emotion wrapped around belief. Never reward and punishment. That's another unique thing that I'm that I'm teaching about about karma. 
So it's extremely empowering. And I hope that you join me on this uh, interesting, um, eclectic uh, ride. And again, check out EA Fundamentals 1 and Fundamentals 2, the home study courses at tdjacobs.com. So thanks for your time and energy, and I hope uh, you take care of yourself. Bye-bye.